Xiaoma enjoys a playful routine whenever he visits Chinese restaurants. He'll spend some time carefully examining the menu and asking seemingly obvious questions, giving the impression that he's completely unfamiliar with Chinese cuisine. This act usually leads the restaurant staff and fellow diners to assume he's just another clueless foreigner. But then, Cheoma switches things up. He suddenly starts speaking fluent Mandarin, catching everyone around him off guard. The surprise isn't just limited to the restaurant staff. Other diners, who might have assumed their conversations were private, are often left in shock when they realize the clueless guy next to them actually understands every word. One particular diner was especially astonished when Chioma began speaking Mandarin. It's not common for white foreigners, or asterisk Leoe asterisk Lao Wei, to be fluent in Chinese, so when Chioma speaks, it defies expectations and leaves people amazed. The sight of a non-Chinese person conversing effortlessly in Mandarin is still quite rare, which only adds to the impact of his performance. In another instance, Echeoma strategically waited for new patrons to sit near him before making the phone call in English. In the middle of his conversation, he seamlessly switched to Mandarin, causing the nearby diner's jaws to drop. The surprise on their faces was evident as they struggled to comprehend how a foreigner could speak their language so fluently. While Mandarin is the most widely spoken Chinese dialect, there are many other dialects that can be quite different from each other. Some patrons might assume that while Xiaoma can handle Mandarin, he wouldn't understand something like Cantonese. But Xiaoma's language skills often extend beyond just one dialect, leaving people even more impressed. With a following of around 2 million subscribers, particularly within Chinese-American communities, Xiaoma has built a reputation for these kinds of interactions. Occasionally, someone recognizes him from his videos, and his cover is blown. But the reactions are still priceless, whether people are surprised or simply intrigued. Not everyone reacts with shock, however. Some, like a woman he encountered during one of his pranks, manage to keep their composure, though their curiosity is still piqued by his unexpected language skills. After successfully surprising everyone at one restaurant, Ajioma typically moves on to another, continuing his playful routine. In one instance, his server patiently tried to guide him through the menu as he pretended to struggle with the options. Little did she know that he was fully aware of what he was ordering. Xioma's playful interactions in these restaurants serve as a lighthearted reminder that language can be a powerful tool to bridge cultural gaps, and that appearances can often be deceiving. When Xioma began speaking Chinese, the woman at the restaurant was visibly surprised. Not only did he converse fluently in Mandarin, but he also spoke a bit of Cantonese, her native dialect, and an official language in Hong Kong. Impressed by his skills, she complimented him, even pulling out her phone to show him a picture of Chinese-American actress and musician Aquafina. You speak better Chinese than her, she said with enthusiasm. Xiaoma then moved on to another restaurant, ready to continue his act as a clueless foreigner. He pretended to struggle with the menu and played up the role of a lost lay way. However, his fun was cut short when one of his fans recognized him before his food even arrived. Undeterred, Xiaoma decided to try again another day, this time donning dark sunglasses and a hoodie in an attempt to disguise his identity. Surely with this disguise, no one would recognize him. When he started speaking Mandarin at this new restaurant, the women dining nearby were in disbelief. One of them even begged him to stop. Unable to handle hearing such fluent Chinese from a foreigner. But Chioma didn't stop there. He surprised them even more by speaking in Fuzhounese, a regional dialect that few people outside of the local Chinese community are familiar with. The women were astonished, realizing that Chioma had been studying Chinese for a long time to master such a complex dialect. After some friendly conversation, one of the women expressed a desire to be friends with Chayoma. He eagerly agreed, offering to add her as a friend. As they exchanged contact details, the woman asked if Chayoma could help her with her English. Sayoma, modest as always, insisted that her English was already quite good. The two chatted a bit longer, 
and Exioma ordered a Fuja specialty peanut dish, which surprised the woman. She couldn't believe he even knew about the dish, which is specific to one region of China and not as widely known as more popular dishes like chow mein. Xiaoma then tried his luck at yet another restaurant, but this time he encountered more than he expected. The staff was particularly challenging, and his language skills alone might not be enough to navigate the situation. A chef in the back of the kitchen started yelling, and when he heard Tazioma speak, he looked up in amazement at seeing a non-Chinese person so fluent in the language. With all the commotion, another staff member quickly recognized Xiaoma. It seemed his game had been played in too many restaurants, and people were starting to see through his act. When Xiaoma spoke Fuzhoun this year, the staff was once again blown away. Finally, another man entered the kitchen and instantly recognized Xiaoma. Realizing that he had become too famous to continue his game unnoticed, Xiaoma sheepishly admitted his true identity. It seemed that in this particular restaurant, he couldn't fool anyone. Perhaps it's time for Xiaoma to try his luck in a different part of Chinatown, or even in another country entirely.